wish Ghanaians, the people of Ghana, but particularly young people, I wish we will move away from focusing about, uh, focusing on rather, the differences in opinions, uh, what this party thinks, uh, what this tradition believes in. I wish we would focus on uniting as a people around certain issues, a vision for our development. You see, some of us, we are followers of Osaja Fukwami Nkrumah, not because we are related to him, but because we sincerely believe that his policies, the policies he implemented, the policies he spoke about in his speeches, his ideas, his books, his writings, the various development plans culminating in the last one, the seven-year development plan that was never implemented because two years after its launch, the illegal overthrow happened. So I wish we would look, revisit the policies contained in all these documents. When we speak about Kwame Nkrumah, we are not speaking about him out of a sentimental um, um, closeness or sentimental sense. No, we truly believe that the policies he gave Ghana and Africa could actually contribute to eradicating poverty, to eradicating corruption, and to making Ghanaians and Africans self-reliant, proud, and dignified. Um, you don't get a leader like Kwame Nkrumah all the time, every decade, not even every century. And a leader who took their time to write down also what they were thinking and why, and how we can develop as a people, not just our economy, not just our education, but even our minds to give us that sense of pride in who Africans were, that we had, we do have a civilization and a history, a very strong one. We made our contributions to civilization. Civilization began with Africans, not outside. But unfortunately, it's only the last 500 years with slavery and colonialism that people started looking at us as if, you know, we don't matter as if, yes, as if we are an inferior race. But if we go back to before that, we will see that there's no reason for us to feel inferior. Hmm? And that it's, there's a mission for every African to try and reverse the effects of slavery and colonialism. And leaders like Kwame Nkrumah gave us a blueprint that is why we are interested in him. Because of that blueprint, he left us.